let me just say this. Let me just say this. We knew Carmelo Hayes was going to be an asshole, but for him to do something like that, that is a prick move. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Nash. Here. Welcome back to the channel. And tonight, I'm going to be giving you guys the results from NXT War Games, which is actually the first pay-per-view for NXT that is not that was never... That was not known as a takeover. And I have to admit, that ending was just not what we had expected, honestly. But we kick things off with the women's war games match featuring Team Gonzalez, which consists of the captain, Raquel Gonzalez, Io Shirai, Kaylee Ray, and Cora J taking on Team Dakota Kai, which consisted of Dakota Kai. And all three members of Toxic Attraction, the NXT Women's Champion, Mandy Rose, and the Tag Team Champions, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. To be honest, this matchup, um, <clears throat> not what we were expecting. I'm gonna be honest, um... I mean, don't get me wrong. War when it comes to when it comes to war games, it's always like absolutely insane. But this match and the men's war games match, which I will talk about here in just a moment, was not the way that we were expecting. To give you guys a glimpse of what happened, Cora Jade hit a senton on on um she had hit a. Hit a senton, I believe, if I remember correctly, I believe on Dakota Kai. And she ended up uh, with a with a hurt left shoulder. But as medical was supposed to, was going to enter, was come in, was going to come in. Io was like, no, 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 I got this. Io Shirai popped her shoulder back in place. Which would give her enough power to fucking hit Anybody that moved with a kendo stick. And what happened? Everybody was down. And Cora Jade picked up, picked up the fucking victory. Bruh. Bruh. What the fuck? I mean, I get it. You know, I, I get it. Biggest win in Jade's young career in NXT. But the match to end it like that? Come on. I will be talking. I will be going a little, a little more in depth with, with, with the card in tomorrow's episode of WWE's Biggest Issue. I will be going in depth, so make sure you guys stay tuned. But I, come on, the way for that match to end. Come on, really, really. But next, but moving on. Next up, we have the NXT Tag Team Titles defended as Imperiums, Fabian Agnew and, Mar and Marcel Barthel defended. Defended the titles against Kyle O'Reilly and Vaughn Wagner. Funny enough, these the, Wagner and O'Reilly had had gelled for quite a while now, for like for the last like several months. Ever since 2.0 actually kind of started earlier this year. I think it was like back in what September, back in September October, a couple months ago. They've been on a, they've been on quite the roll, but it just wasn't enough. This close, Kyle O'Reilly was this close from winning the tag team titles for his team. As my book, as my book falls, of course. If I can find my page, there we go. Um, yeah, they were this close from from submitting, passing out Fabian Eichner, but that did not stop Imperium from retaining the titles with the Imperial Bomb. To retain the tag team titles, but what happened after that was quite the. Sh I, actually, honestly, it didn't. It didn't surprise me. It didn't surprise me because if you guys remember, not too long ago on SmackDown, Von Wagner was a, was on SmackDown alongside WWE official Adam Pearce, which begged the question: Are we going to see a heel turn? Turned out we did. We saw a heel turn for for not for Kyle O'Reilly but for Von Wagner as. Kyle, Kyle O'Reilly saw it. He had that one coming. He saw it. He, right there, he saw it and attacked Wagner and just left. And he told Wagner, 
I'll see you inside a steel cage this Tuesday. So we will have not one but two steel cage matches this coming Tuesday on NXT. I believe that that will be the first. The second one, I believe, will be um if I remember correctly. There was another one I don't I don't remember. I I don't remember. I just saw war games that I don't remember. Um Yeah, there was a, there there was another one. I don't I don't remember the cage that 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 one. Um, but yeah, I mean that's gonna happen. We knew we I I wanted to for me, for me to be honest for me I knew that at some point some something like that was gonna happen because of the fact that. This is. This is Kyle. This is Kyle O'Reilly we're talking about. Kyle O'Reilly is one of the most decorated tag team specialists in NXT with the Undisputed Era. And what did he do after he attacked? Threw up the Undisputed Era sign. So it begs the question has he re signed? And apparently there's been rumor. And, and apparently, apparently there's been reports saying that. He has not re-signed as of yet. However, this Tuesday, from one from what I've been from what I was from what I I have found out earlier today, this Tuesday will be Kyle's last match in NXT before leaving before leaving WWE. I don't know if he is gonna leave WWE. Um But um, it was just crazy. It, it, it was pretty crazy. It was just absolutely insane. And um, and actually, I and, and and as as far as the women's war games match, I was wrong. It was actually J.C. Jane. I do I do apologize. It was J.C. Jane. But I do want to point out as well that Raquel Gonzalez did put Dakota Kai in a. It, in, in a trash can, and just, whoop, whoop, round and around she goes, and just threw her, which, uh, it was just crazy, it was just absolutely crazy, but, yeah, I mean, seeing Kyle O'Reilly and Von Wagner split, you knew that was going to happen. Next up, we have Hair versus Hair, Cameron Grimes versus Duke Hudson, and this was... This was quite... This was actually quite the match, I have to admit. It was quite the match, to say the very least, because... We all know the rules. Whoever loses gets their head shaved off. Plain and simple. Duke Hudson. There have been times where Duke Hudson came this close from winning the match. Including trying to use the ropes. But the referee caught Duke Hudson. But Cameron Grimes on the other hand. Cameron, there's a reason why Cameron Grimes is a veteran. In the wrestling industry. And he's a, he is a very crafty son of a bitch. And he used the tights. He roll he 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 ended up rolling up Duke Hudson with the tights and used his own body weight to hide to hide to hide the evidence, making sure that the referee didn't see it. And he actually won. And he ended up shaving off Duke Hudson's head, which I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that by this Tuesday we're gonna see him bald. I'm pretty sure we will. I'm pretty sure we will see him bald. But next up, we have Roderick Strong Joe, and Joe Gacy for the NXT Cruiserweight title. Gacy mentioned that if he became that if he did become NXT champion, he would turn it into the what was what we call the All Inclusive Championship. Which I did talk about that in yesterday's video, in in yesterday's Best of Both Worlds video. If you guys have not checked it out, I recommend watching it. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting to say the very least. But this was a very intriguing matchup. Very. 
intriguing, very hard hitting. I will I will admit, but it was it was pretty uh. It was pretty insane. It was pretty insane. And, um... To be honest, uh, this match was kind of... Again, as I said before, it was kind of interesting, but... Um... There was no way... There was no way Joe Gacy was gonna win. There was no way in hell, because... I know I said that... I, I believe in my prediction video, I did say... I believe I said Joe Gacy was gonna win... But there, but true, but to be honest, let's be fair. Let's be real. There's, there was no way Ro that Roger Strong was gonna lose this match, especially given the fact that it's at War Games. His record at 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 the event known known as War Games is sparkling, absolutely sparkling. He has only had, I, I believe, he's only had what one, two, three losses. I think I think only three losses inside and you know you know at, at war games and he's won two so that's in, that's pretty impressive three and two in, at at war games that's pretty good but yeah Roderick Strong ended up defeating Joe Gacy with the end of heartache to retain the cruiserweight title but there's but again as I mentioned in yesterday's video there's rumors going around saying that that. The title could be scrapped, and we could have a new title. Is it possible? I really don't don't see that happening anytime soon. But with that being said, we move on to the main event, and all I have to say is utter fucking bullshit. That's all I gotta say. It's just utter bullshit. It was Team 2.0 versus Team Black and Gold. Black and Gold consisted of. The captain, the NXT champion, Tommaso Ciampa, the bruiserweight Pete Dunne, LA Knight, and Johnny Gargano with the return of his old theme, Rebel Heart, bringing it back old school. He's a part of Black and Gold, so you gotta bring it back. Taking on two, and, and, and of course 2.0's um, team consisted of the captain, Braun Breaker, Grayson Waller, Tony D'Angelo, and the North American champion, Carmelo Hayes, which... Was absolute was a fucking bloodbath, and I emphasize and I emphasize the term blood because Johnny Gargano bled, literally bled at the heel, literal the literal heel of Grayson Waller, and it was pretty ins it was insane. So the match, so the War Games match started with 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 the North American champion. Uh, Carmelo Hayes and Johnny Gargano. It then moved into Grayson Waller showing up. Then, um, then Pete Dunn, then Tony D'Angelo, then LA Knight, then Braun Breaker, and then the NXT Champion. But there was a time, there was a moment in, in the match when Trick Williams decided to get involved by throwing in some weapons until Dexter Loomis finally showed up, gave the old thumbs up to Johnny Gargano, and walked off. And thus, it was even. It was this was a back and forth matchup. Tony D'Angelo even took a fucking chain, a fucking chain, and locked the door. But that didn't stop La Knight from going in into the cage by climbing the fucking, by scaling the fucking cage. But once all four men entered, it was all war from there. The war started. Chairs were being thrown, tables were being broke. There was even a moment also in the sh in in the match where where um where DI where the moment where the where LA Knight actually th threw actually threw Grayson Waller from the top rope from the top turnbuckle onto the table, and the closing moments of the match will shock you to your core. It will shock you to the point of no return. Because the closing the last moments the last moments of the match. Braun Breaker was the last one up, literally. And DIY was standing. 
They hit Braun Breaker with Meet Me with their finishing move, Meet, Meet Me in the Middle. And as they pinned Braun Breaker, one, two, Carmelo Hayes, being the asshole that, that he is, ripped the referee, stopping the count. And his face, he fucking smiled. He was like, yep, I fucking did that, bitch. And Melo said, I don't miss. Johnny Gargano sacrificed himself to allow Ciampa to hit, um, hit, hit Carmelo Hayes with the psycho knee, sacrificing himself. But as Tommaso Ciampa was about to hit Carmelo Hayes with the fairy tale ending, Braun Breaker hit Ciampa with the spear through a table, allowing Breaker to hit Ciampa with the power slam and to pick up the victory for Team 2.0. Honestly, I'm 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 gonna be honest. That match, that that the way that match ended should was utter bullshit. I don't know what the hell. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that this probably has to be, in in my opinion, in my opinion, the worst War Games pay per view we had seen ever. This is the first time that War Games pay pay per view. Sucked this bad, and I'll explain even further once once I once I talk about it in my newest episode of WWE's Biggest Issue, which will be tomorrow morning. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But that brings me to the question of the day: What were you guys' thoughts on the card itself? What was your guys' thoughts on on each match, and was were the endings of those matches was this something you guys you you guys had expected or did you or did you guys expect something different let me know in the comments below and that is going to do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel you guys want to see more pay-per-view um um uh pay-per-view results in the future make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be in the description below. And if you guys have any fan mail that you want to send me and want me to open up on the channel, my address will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is a boy Nash signing out.